Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another blog tech tips. This is for those who are new to the iPhone in case you do not know what iMessages is and how to actually use it. Now, of course, um, the iMessage feature is built into your iPhone. Um, it's usually network based. So um, if you have a carrier SIM inside your device, its um, settings is going to be dependent on your carrier. Um, so always make sure it's set up properly for the first time use. By default, it should be set up, but just in case, guys, you can always check your messages. You can go to settings, and of course, you're going to scroll down. Once you scroll down, you're going to go to the option that says messages. And notice, make sure that this is on, which is iMessage. And of course, you should see a send and receive number, which should be your phone number. Make sure that the phone number is set as your, um, as your center number, as it does need your phone and your number to work. Also, when activating, it sh might incur charges with your network provider. So before you turn this on or activate the feature, make sure that you do have the um, know that you'll be charged most likely from your network provider before proceeding. Once you have activated and you have your number there, you can go ahead and go back. Once you go back, guys, you're going to go to your messages. And of course, as long as your friend, let's say your friend um, as a iPhone this will work it's very similar to WhatsApp except WhatsApp works with anybody who has a phone number or of course if you know anything about Blackberry Messenger um, of the past where you do actually be a network where you use um, a person's number and once you have their number or their pin or whatever they use to call it you could communicate with them so this one is exclusive to the Apple environment or ecosystem so let's say your friend has a um, iPhone and you have an iPhone and both of you did as I showed a while ago to make sure that the iMessage is on and of course it's set up. Let me show you the difference between a regular text and an iMessage text. As you can see here, whenever a regular message is sent, it will look like this in green. There's I sent a test message to show and it says there it will show in a um, bubble that is in the green color. And of course, there's the gray color for any other message that's um, sent otherwise. And of course, notice whenever there is the contrast in gray. And of course, the contrast in um, green, it just indicates that this is a regular message. Now, guys, um, whenever you see a message like this, it indicates that you're using iMessages. Notice the difference now. Um, your, your response will turn to blue. Um, of course, um, it will show otherwise like this. Um, notice it says here blue. That indicates that my message are being sent to iMessages. If I ever see green, it means that I'm back to regular text. Notice here... Um, you can send pictures, you can send um, voice memos and so on, and everything can be sent through um, iMessages. It's much more flexible than um, your regular uh, messages, so do check that out. And of course, it's unique to the iPhone, um, to the iPhone based um, systems. So this will only use between iPhones. So as you can see here, I was communicating, and of course, you can see the grays for the person who's speaking, and of course, my bubbles are in, um, um, and so on. So of course that's how it's all set up all right so of course guys as usual that's just how to set up and use the iMessages it's quite simple just make sure you go into settings make sure that the iMessage is on make sure you have a center number which is usually your number and of course go back and send and once you're getting that blue tick indicate that you're communicating with somebody with another iPhone and they have iMessages on it should be free and it works fine over Wi-Fi you do not need any additional um if you have data it will also work but of course when you're around the house or for us around the workplace, so you have Wi-Fi, it will work just fine. You do not need um, a data plan to send iMessages. All right, guys, so Ricardo Gardner from Blog Tech Tips, saying bye until next time. Bye, guys.